Hello there everybody, Bilbo10000 here, bringing you another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Leak discussion video. Today, we are not only going to be doing another update to the Grinch leak, because I want to make sure you guys are up to date with all the information for said leak, but we are also going to be covering a Smash blog, not update, but a Smash blog banner thing that came up yesterday uh, that was a bit of a discrepancy that was uh, brought back up after it was initially brought up in September. So we're going to go in chronological order first, and we're going to start with the uh, earliest uh, information from the Grinch leak that didn't make it into yesterday's video, and that is that the company behind uh, the leak, the second company, the one that didn't make a uh, statement, they took down the video that showcased their company and their assets and they just took it off of YouTube. So here is a picture that explains it in a simple paragraph. The marketing company, who had not made a statement yet, had a video taken down that showed off their company. This video proved the material in the leak was at least a super accurate copy. To do this, they had to contact a French banking company who posted it on a Sunday. They weren't even getting spammed with comments. Now, that last comment I'm not really 100% sure about because they may not have been getting a lot of comments on the YouTube video, but they could have been getting calls, they could have been getting kind of like harassed by certain members of the community. I would not be surprised if they were getting a lot of calls about this, if they were getting emails and stuff about this, and I hope that people haven't harassed them because that's just not cool on any stretch of the, uh, the imagination. But the fact that they had to take the video down on a Sunday is extremely shocking because Sunday is obviously known as a bit of a rest day. Most of the time people aren't working on Sundays, like work hours usually are what, Monday to Friday usually? So this is really odd. That is the easiest way to put it. And it's certainly a reaction. The problem is there are a few different options that you can get when it comes to this whole scenario. The first option is that this company is actually working on Smash Ultimate, in which case they can't give a statement because they're under an NDA, uh, but taking down the video just makes it even more obvious. Uh, the second one is that they're not working on Smash, but they decided to take the video down anyway without giving a statement because they just wanted to try and maybe uh, get rid of uh, anything that could showcase the inner workings of their company, which I, I'm not sure if that's uh, what happened. Obviously, the problem is, Aside from the first option, aside from if they're working on Smash, they should be able to, like Marina, the other company, give a statement uh, about this entire leak incident because uh, that's what the other company did. They should be able to do that as well. The fact that they're not kind of implies that they're either under an NDA or there's something more going on here. Now, I'm not going to read too far into this. I don't want to see people harassing this company. This is a company of people who work for a living and are just trying to earn a wage. So I'm going to leave it there. But if they really are working on the advertisement for Smash Ultimate, I feel so bad for them because chances are this is going to really hurt their marketability and I feel really bad for them. So that is the big thing from yesterday that I got pinged about uh, earlier on in the day by like hundreds of you. But then while I was streaming yesterday, something else happened and someone decided to bring back up a leak from September the 13th, the day Isabel was announced I believe and the banner on the website was changed. A 4chan post showcased uh, a picture of the banner where Little Mac's glove was cropped off and Olimar's uh, head uh, helmet was also kind of cropped off. And they said Mac and Olimar cropped poorly, obvious rush job to cover something up, who did they delete? Now, here's the first thing. Uh, I doubt it was a rushed job given they had a week to uh, sort things out between whatever uh, could occur. Uh, but here's the interesting part about this uh, entire thing. Because if you take a look at where Little Mac is, and you then take a look at the Grinch leak in this image here, look who's next to Little Mac. Isaac from Golden Sun. Isaac is next to Little Mac. He's in the exact position that he would be in. Well, yeah, he's in pretty much the exact same position that he would be in, assuming that Isaac was going to be in the banner. Now, here's the thing, it kind of brings up some uncomfortable speculation in that was Isaac meant to be revealed in September, but he was taken out of the direct because of the earthquakes. It's a very uncomfortable speculation path 
but it is something I just want to bring up quickly just because there is a genuine chance that could have happened, assuming Isaac is in the game. There is always a possibility, and this does kind of give a bit of credence to the Grinch leak, given this is a really big coincidence if, uh, if it actually isn't related. Like, this is a massive coincidence. But, uh... I'm sorry to say that while it could very well be that Isaac is there, there is actually a logical explanation to this phenomenon that could potentially prove this wrong. So let's go over to a Reddit post uh, that I have found, and this Reddit post is by Crumping Toss, and you can find a link to it down below, and it says, Little Mac and Olimar Cutting Explained. The image showing a weird cropping between Little Mac and Olimar has been circulating as evidence towards Isaac initially being planned for the September Direct. While I'm not saying that Isaac isn't planned or even wasn't planned for the Direct, the cropping has a more logical explanation. From the website, you can see the rotating banner image is actually saved as six separate images. So, there are six image links here, and the third one is uh, put in bold because this is an important link that we want to keep up. This is the one with Isabel on it, and I've opened this up on my tab so I can do a bit of a comparison. Uh, so, if you line up the image from the third asset with the image from archive.org of the second asset from before, between the August Direct and the September Direct found here, this is the other important link for comparison, you'll notice that the images match up perfectly to recreate the image from 4chan and I have opened it up, and yeah, they are correct. It does pretty much perfectly replicate the 4chan image. So, what does that mean? I'm just taking a quick look, just to look at comparison's sake once more. Just want to get one last look at that, okay. It's interesting how only Little Mac and Olimar are affected, and like Ike isn't affected, and no one above that is affected either, maybe because they never actually moved spaces at all. Uh, so let's take a little look at the rest of this. Uh, you can see the comparison here. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the comparison on screen quickly. Here you go. Here is the comparison. There we go. Alright, so, the reason that only Little Mac and Olimar are the only ones affected is that they're the only two characters that were moved between two images by Isabel being added. Like I said previously, this doesn't necessarily mean that Isaac won't be a character in the future, or that he wasn't originally planned for the September Direct, this just means that this error was more likely caused by a glitch from updating the assets, rather than by Isaac being removed. Thanks for reading. And I think this does make a lot more sense than Isaac being badly cropped out, because I don't think Nintendo are going to be that awful at, uh, at getting rid of a character, when chances are each character's artwork is a layer uh, that you can just switch on and off. We already know that these artworks are being used on the box art for the game, and clearly they are their own uh, picture, their own render. There's no point in them being kind of like a little jigsaw puzzle or anything of the sorts. So, there are some edits to this post actually I want to go on about, so... Some people are pointing out that a green pixel is visible on the 4chan version of the image. I zoomed in the image from 4chan myself and wasn't able to make out a clear green pixel. If anyone else has been able to recreate the green pixel, please let me know. Now, the green pixel does exist, but as he points out in edit 2, thanks to JoeTG9 for pointing out this explanation of the green pixel from Smashboards, Van Rose points out that the green pixels are due to 4chan's artifacting. They point out that the same tones of blue in both Little Mac and Olimar in the replicated version are shifted to the same tones of green in the 4chan version. So, those little green specks... Chances are they mean nothing. Also, another edit here says that, uh, Slash U slash Pizenar pointed out that Smash Bros. Japan uploaded a version of the banner with Isabel being added in on September 13th at 3.41pm. The one from 4chan was uploaded at 19.44, which translates to 7.44 4chan time. Assuming these two times are in the same time zone, it doesn't make sense for the 4chan glitch to be due to them not having time to edit Isaac out, as they had a complete version about four hours earlier. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this Isaac leak so far, uh, I wish that it was an official leak, but I think it is just coincidence that this cut happens right where Isaac would be on the Grinch leak. Now, this is a very logical uh, argument, and 
I think I completely understand it. I get it. I think this is probably the more likely scenario. Obviously, there could always be the scenario that Isaac was cropped out, and he was meant to be there, and that's why there was a little bit of a cut, but... I think this is the more likely argument, and I'm going to stick with this one as my argument. So, sorry Isaac, but as much as I want you, you've already got enough evidence going for your inclusion. I don't think we need this one as well. I think we can sacrifice this uh, specific bit of evidence. Now, there was actually another line that people saw on Pac-Man's tongue that was near Gino, but I kind of want to point out that this line near uh, Pac-Man's tongue does go through the entire page. What does that mean? It means it's probably nothing, it's probably just where the picture splits, it means absolutely nothing. So, sorry to use the want Gino, but I don't think this little, uh, this little bit means anything, and you can actually see this on a tweet down below, I will show you guys. Uh, it wouldn't make sense to edit Gino like that, especially given the, uh, the cut, uh, with Little Mac and Olimar was just those two. So, you know, just, just, uh, making sure people are aware of that. So lastly, we have uh, a tweet thread, and this is a big thread. This is interesting. I just found this out today, and I'm going to take a little look at this. It is a thread from Brandon, hashtag Skullkid for Smash, and he's at Don Jupiter on Twitter. And he says, okay, I'm going to try and explain this again, since for whatever reason, my other thread is gone. If this is gone, then I'm just going to assume that this is correct. I was on the Smash site and noticed something weird in Inkling's eyes. I've heard a good amount of people saying this is just the Smash logo, but I don't know. I wanted to see what in God's name could Inkling be looking at, so I downloaded an image of the current banner and cropped it. I noticed that it could be Ness, Ryu, Cap, Falcon, Pac-Man, Roy, and Mario, as I observed the banner more. I found that Falcon is seemingly too far away, Pac-Man is above her, and Ryu has too little red or whatever on him so that it would show in her eyes. From what I gathered, Ness appeared to be far behind her, so that left Mario and Roy. Upon further inspection, I noticed that the colour was too orangey for Mario, but since Roy was also clearly behind her, ink makes it obvious, I went with Mario. But Mario's shadow is inside of the Pokemon trainers. Maybe this is just an oversight since we all know they can be moved around and they could just add shadows later, or Mario really is just above him but he is seemingly enlarged like Link, since they uh, are giant recognizable franchises. Who knows, but I looked back at the image and found that despite Roy being clearly behind her, his hair color definitely matches more, and his height would also align with her sight if he was further away. So I decided to look back on the Grinch leak, since everyone has been buzzing about it, and noticed that Roy is definitely in a position that Inkling would be looking at him. He's further away and seemingly in front of her. I wasn't sure, so I drew a line between their feet and noticed that indeed, he is ever so slightly in front of her. Also, Mario's shadow is still merged with Pokemon Trainers, meaning he is still directly above him, and it seems that Pokemon Trainer and Mario are even further behind. Especially when comparing them to Mega Man in the current banner we have now, it seem, uh, Pokemon Trainer is seemingly on the same row as Mega Man, but just a little bit further back. But now when you compare Pokemon Trainer to the Chorus Kids, who are seemingly exactly aligned with Mega Man, he's clearly behind. Maybe I'm just crazy for noticing all this, but I think that the Grinch leak was indeed the first, or at least one of the first banners created, and then was cut down. I'm still unsure if the colour is just the Smash logo, but if someone wants to enhance, it's appreciated. Also, here's a tweet showing that there's definitely something in her eyes. And yeah, that is an interesting thing to note. I am incredibly interested in that there could be this uh, little feature in the Inkling's eye. She could be looking at uh, Roy, she could be looking at the Smash logo, she could be looking at anything. And it is something so minuscule, but also so well detailed, that it could actually be something. But I'm not going to consider this evidence for the Grinch leak, if only because it is a little bit too difficult to tell what the Inkling is looking at, given if you zoom in, it looks a bit too blurry, and we're not too sure. But obviously that isn't how the Inkling's eyes normally look, so I have to assume she's looking at something? But whatever it could be, could it be Roy? Could it be something else? We might not know, but it is something I wanted to bring up, and you can take a look at the Twitter thread yourself in the description below. So anyway, that is that for today's episode of the Grinch League update, because it's 
pretty much a series at this point. Um, so yeah, uh, right now the big news obviously is that the company took down their video and that is for me I think the biggest evidence towards the Grinch leak right now because it is such a sketchy thing to do, especially when there's no statement coming from the company as well. Uh, we are getting very close potentially to a new direct date. Some people have said the 8th, some people have said the 1st. Honestly, I am expecting a direct either this week or next week, and I'm sure we're going to get an announcement at some point, uh, but I don't see us getting a direct uh, after next week. Like, I feel like next week has to be the cutoff date for the direct, at least the next one, uh, assuming we only have one more. If we have two more, we might get one closer to the date, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if I sounded a bit weird today. I am feeling a little bit sick. I... <laughs> I've just not been feeling too well today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video nevertheless. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, please consider checking out my Discord. There's a link down below. We've got a lovely Smash section, and we've got a lovely community section as well. Lovely place. Over 850 members last I checked. Really cool place. And we also have Patreon as well. You can get small perks that you can use on like my Twitch and you get little uh, shout outs at the end of my videos and it's really cool and it really helps me out a lot. So if you're interested in helping out the channel, links are down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.